So where, where's the compulsion to help the needy then in objectivism? There is none. I mean, you, you shouldn't help the needy unless you find some reason to help them. Unless they help you. No, it's not a direct help to you. Or whatever, unless they unless somehow benefit your rational yeah. self-interest. So, so, for example, I, I love children. I love children. I love babies. I, you know, I, uh, I know people who say, you know, babies, you don't get anything out back from them. No, I, they're, I, full they're full I, of shit. They're full of shit. I love, I love babies. Right? If you came to me in a, in a rational world, in the world today, I'm, I'm pretty cynical, but if you came to me in a rational world and said, you know, I'm starting up a charity to help babies that have been abandoned by their mothers or help cure cancer, I would like, I'd write you a big yeah. check, no problem, because I love, but if you came to me, there's some adult who, who, you know, who could work, but he's not really interested in working, he's just sleeping on the street, to hell with them. I, I have no motivation to help him. So now somebody else might say, I value X, I value Y, but, but each one of us would be good, and, and some people won't help anybody in terms of charity. I don't think charity is that important in life. Uh, I don't think helping the needy is that important in life. Uh, I don't think most people need help. I think 99.9% .9 of people can take care of themselves if we give them an opportunity to do so and didn't institutionalize them through welfare into poverty. Uh, so well, on that we can agree. Yeah, yeah. So helping the needy is not to me a moral, it, it, it can be moral. But for the most part, most people help the needy out of a sense of guilt. And I don't feel guilty. I didn't do anything to cause oh, them I, to be... I, agree. To I, I don't think you should feel guilty because you see someone who has problems. But I, I, so, so if somebody came to me in my neighborhood and, and had a problem, and I would probably help them, and the reason I would probably help them is I have a very benevolent view of human, of, of human beings because I know what's possible. Right? People work out there, people are working out there and making my life, I mean, I think those Chinese workers who make this stuff is so cool. Never mind the engineers that actually design it, never mind the chip made. I mean, people are amazing creatures, oh, yeah. amazing creatures. So if some stranger comes to me and says, look, I'm, I'm really falling on hard times, I would be happy to help them under the assumption that they have the potential, right? If, if I know somebody is a bastard, I mean, oh, yeah, bastard, and I'm not going to help, help that, yeah. Exactly. So you're being self-interested. I'm being self-interested, but I well, know a lot. Actually, I'm more interested in the bastard. <laughs> well, yeah, you, fuck it, that guy. Yeah, fuck that yeah. guy, exactly. Yeah. But I know a lot of people would help the bastard out of a sense of guilt. See, out of a sense, yeah, I agree. Lots of people do that. Lots of people do that. So again, what I'm saying is proscription, right? You should not help the bastard. Only help good people, or at least people you don't know anything about. Right, so give them the benefit of the doubt. But if you know somebody's a bad guy, right, he's a member of Antifa or something, <laughs> don't help them. Don't help them. Don't give them any assistance ever, right? So be selfish. If somebody's going to harm you, then it's insane to help them. Now, somebody might not immediately help you, but in the grand scheme of things, they're a human being, and human beings are good. Look, we take care of our plants. Yeah. We take care of our pets. Yep. To me, any human being, almost any human being, who hasn't done me any harm, is more valuable than a pet, right? I'm not oh, big yeah, on dogs yeah. and no, cats. No, absolutely. So I'm happy to help people. The <laughs> idea that objectivists are not going to help people is bizarre. On the contrary, we're some of the most benevolent, friendly, nicest people in the world because we value ourselves. And if we project on other people, wow, they're living the kind of life I'm living. It. You know, how wonderful is that? Right, okay. Okay, that, that's very interesting, and I guess we can leave it there. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.